Good evening. There's a few hours left before we have to spring ahead. Daylight saving time is in effect this Sunday and clocks turn one hour ahead. The local fire department is also encouraging residents to check their smoke detectors along with changing their clocks. We like to use the time change uh, to remind people to replace their batteries in their smoke alarm. Uh, your smoke alarm is your first defense against the fire. You are also recommended to have a smoke alarm in every level of the house. Alarm in there. We still in your smoke alarm, pushing the button only texts the audible sound of the alarm. So you're physically going to have to create some kind of smoke uh, to test your alarm. Uh, you can buy smoke in a can or anything like that. Clocks jump ahead at 2 a.m. on Sunday, except in most of Saskatchewan, as well as parts of Quebec, Ontario and B.C. Snowmobile enthusiasts from around the region gathered at Sandy Beach Lake today to support the Knights of Columbus and their year-long charity drive. Bart Bedjasek reports. The distinct sound of motors echoed through these hills as snowmobilers blazed through freshly made tracks. But it's not a regular sports weekend. Sandy Beach Lake is a popular destination with local snowmobilers anyways. Organizers at the Knights of Columbus thought they have the land, so why not put it to use? Anybody who has a snow machine and goes snow machine goes snowmobiling um, will appreciate it. Uh, rally's always fun. There's lots of people that just do one every weekend with their sleds and everything else. So, um, so we thought we'd have one. Along with the fun outside, a silent auction was put on and door prizes were given out. The rally is one of the Knights of Columbus's big charity drives throughout the year. It affected them when they had to cancel the last two years in a row because of lack of snow. We donate to a lot of good, uh, worthwhile things around there. They have a home and men's shelter and uh, Catholic services and everything like that. And uh, hockey, hockey in town, minor hockey. And when you don't get your income from something like this, um, it's pretty hard to do very much fundraising or very much giving out of money. So it uh, makes it a little bit rough. Riders from around the region couldn't help but to come out and show support and to take in some of those good snow conditions. The next Knights of Columbus charity event will be a beef raffle in June. Bart Pediasek, Newcap News. From sports memorabilia to antiques and dolls, almost anything can be found at the 21st annual Border City Collector Show and Sale this weekend. Hundreds of people came out to the Lloyd X grounds for the first day of the event. It's a sight to see. Tables displayed with antique jewelry from as far as England and memorabilia dating back to the early 30s. There's lots to see and lots to do. Lots of different things. We've got new exhibitors and we've got exhibitors that have been here all 20 years. And uh, there's something for everyone. John McGowan is just one of the many exhibitors involved, selling antiques and collectibles since the 70s. Well, I like to meet the people and, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I come here. But John says there aren't as many exhibitors participating in the past few years. It's getting to be a limited market, but there's still... Uh, uh, there's some young people that are uh, interested and, and young people tend to uh, more buy on the internet or at least partially buy on the internet. We enjoy doing it, we love doing it. It's something that uh, apparently the people like coming and seeing and yeah some of our exhibitors are getting up in years but they look forward to coming. It. This, a, lot of, a lot of exhibitors know this is the one show they'll come to and, uh, you know, we have get some new people starting up in it. We'd like to have a few more. The annual event is also a chance to give back to the community. We donate all, uh, all our proceeds uh, to the Pleasant View Bible Camp. We send some kids to camp. We uh, also donate to the Bar Colony Heritage Society and the uh, Lloyd Region Health Foundations. Sunday is the last day of the event. It starts at 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. For more information, you can visit BorderCityCollectors.com. Dance is big in the border city as hundreds of kids demonstrated last night. Studio Encore held their annual showcase for friends and family alike. Bart Pediasic reports. The Vic Juba Theatre was alive with the sound of dance. 
with about 300 competitive kids, ranged from 4 to 19 years old. The night was a chance for them to show off what they've learned all year. They're just a total range from ballet, tap, jazz, highland, hip-hop, modern. We've got from little, um, you know, sparkly, beautiful costumes to really neat, modern, um, contemporary look. So just a huge array. And with popularity of the dance studio at an all-time high, it's no wonder parents are getting their kids into dance early. It's busy but it's worth it. At, a ten, at the age of 10, they start kind of getting into things that you know wouldn't necessarily want them to get into, and it's a really good opportunity to keep them busy and to keep teach them good work ethic. The studio is celebrating 25 years as a company. Parents involved have nothing but praise for what they've created. It's not just the people who run it, it's the other parents that are there as well. You develop good friendships, you develop um, bonds that you couldn't even imagine as parents. You know, there's the, the whole um, stigma of dance moms. You don't see that as often as you think you would in this studio, which is absolutely fantastic. And at the end of the day, instructors are thrilled with how fast their students have gotten into dance. It's just an awesome way to stay active and they just, once they start one discipline, it seems like they just kind of get hooked on everything. Bart Podiasik, New Cap News.